It's giving influence. I, yeah. I, I'm sure between our cat cut over there. Today is month end. <laughs> lol, lol, ah, lol. My, oh my goodness. Sort of had a lot of resentment towards. I went on a date yesterday. Yeah, these two. So it's a, it's a face and body wash, and it's like a, a boyish looking guy. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute. Since we last kicked it, by the way, just got in town. It's just gonna be so uncomfortable, dude. You're going back to Durban on Monday, yeah. Mm. My hand, baby. I'm like, people, I'm <laughs> sure if it came my bag, that he yeah. would be like, yeah, I'm sure. But if I got caught with anybody, damn, okay, like I food loot on no, honestly, it was really amazing, and <laughs> he laughed. People, he laughed. You're a better person than I'll ever be, child. Ah! You said no. Yeah, I said no. I swear to God. Jesus is Lord. I'm down my face when you got home. Like, what's the last Imagine. Yes. Um, I think she hates them. Hmm. Even if that's the only friend I haven't done in Joburg, that would be okay. Yeah. Synergy on Anne Loki. On a bear berry. It's hard. I, I don't find them hard. Maybe because I just don't like light and complexion guys. How is light and complexion? This is the first time that you've ever seen me date a light and complexion guy. I don't like the description. Mm, true, you actually don't. I really don't, but um, I like his like boyish look you like that that's what you like about every guy mm. a boyish looking guy true yeah i like that that's boyish looking hey miss me with it bitch you can miss me with it turn up hold on you're a snake i don't know bruh i don't know which fucking miracle needs to happen uh just oh, yeah. need to feel good naked, like have a plumpy ass, like to wear a strappy tight dress with no bra and my waist is tiny and my ass is fat and I have no makeup and I just have curly inches and gloss and nice BMW. Yeah. Like, True. Good. Morning my loves. Oh, I realized was here. actually being on the phone makes me so bad with vlogging. Like Yesterday I went to dinner. So like before I went to dinner, like I was getting ready and the whole time I was getting ready I was just talking to my sister on the phone. Like I could have vlogged. I could have, you know, made it like because I even did my oh let me show you guys my PR job. I even did my like I shot my reel for Patron. Patron sent me a PR job and I shot that yesterday. Um, but yeah, Bonji, the fact that I didn't, I didn't do unboxing, GJ. I'm just living my life like it's golden. Good day, okay? Yeah. Let me show you guys how cute this pair drop is. Even though, really young, So yesterday I went to Blue Room. I went on a date. I went on a little daily date. I'm so. I'm conflicted, you know, guys, on... Yo, I'm jumping from one topic to another topic. To another. <laughs> I'm conflicted on what to do for my giveaway, guys. A part of me is just like, you know what? People need money. Like, Jenga Manji, everyone is going through, like, financial issues. Instead of giving away, like, things... Oh, instead of giving away physical things, why don't I give away money? Because I think that's one thing that people would actually appreciate rather than, you know, a gift. But then a part of me feels like, oh... A sentimental gift with a whole lot of different things inside it also makes sense. I don't know. Try to figure it out. I need to have figured it out by the end of today. But my brain has just been fuzzy. The other day I went wine tasting with Ola. Yesterday I spoke on the phone with my sister Gaz and Gaya to dinner with Opro. Oh, I'm dating. Again, Jill and I'm in my dating bag. Jay, I want dates. So Patron. 
I was supposed to do this um, unboxing for you guys with makeup on at least, yes? I'm not a serious YouTuber and I'm disappointing you guys actually. I have a pure drop from Patrice. <laughs> It's giving influenza. It's giving influenza. It's giving. <laughs> oh, you know when they like message me, they're like, "Oh, we wanna like send you a little package or whatever." I was thinking like maybe like little bottle of patrol, you know, for the girl to like sip on something cute. Ciao. They said no. Not a little box, girl. Not a little box. Think big. Think bigger. So. Okay, let's open up the box and see what's inside. I'm gonna come a bit closer for you guys. Like so. Mm -hmm. Cause I need to be So I shot something last night before I went to dinner because they had given me the box like three days ago and procrastinating and being late, um, I, f I didn't shoot the day that I got it, even though that was my intention. But anyway, I haven't eaten today. So, inside the box of treasures, we have obviously a bottle of Patrese. Love me some tequila, y'all know that. Bottle of Patron. Some Patron in my cup. Y'all know I'm getting home with a wrong I need no it, need no it. Mm -mm -mm. And then you got two glasses to mix your cocktails in. Pretty. I washed everything again because I feel like I wanted to film it in more light. And I want to try this one next. Patron Picante, I think that's what it's called. So I did the most basic one, which was the Tommy's Margarita. But you know me, like I always want to take it to the top. So... I want to do cocktail Sundays again and I want to do it like nicely. I want to do this one with the syrup and the chili, the wonje, gobe vibes. So I washed everything and I put it back in the box because I want to redo it. So then I got two cute little glasses. Love that. And then I also got two shot glasses. Y'all always complaining about how big my shot glasses are. Look at how big these ones are. Huge. Got two shot glasses. I got a lemon squeezer, I think that's what you'd call it. Put your lemon inside and then you squeeze all the juice out to get some fresh lemon juice. I don't know what this is, y'all. Oh, okay, well, I got a, like, a cup. Okay. I also got a, a shot glass to, like, pour your shots in. And then I got this. It's to, like, mix your, mix your drink, you know. Mix your valaganji. I already have one, I know. But this one is more like official. It's even more heavier than mine. Mine is more like light. Yeah, but was, I don't know that, end, but I'm gonna tell you something. Then, I don't know what this thing is. I'm still gonna Google it. I'm assuming it goes in the cup. Kanji? Masuvala, my lady glass, my pizza. No? I don't know. What is that? I don't know, but I'll Google it and figure out what this does. And then this to like smash your herbs and your um, lemons and chilies. I really want to try this one. I'm interested in trying it because it also has a syrup. And so I'm interested. I want to really do that one. I think that one's going to taste really nice and fresh. And then Tongs for eyes. <laughs> and then there's a towel underneath, of which is actually making me think, I might want to do this at the beach. Because why not? If there's a towel, why not go to the beach? Beach, let's still get away. Say, say what they're going to say. Find a drink. Drink, find a drink. 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 Find Oh, it's, okay. it's a big towel, hey? Very big. Oh, this is so pretty. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it at the beach. Must be Fabo Patrona. 
Nice, no? I definitely think I'm gonna shoot this next one at the beach. I think it'll make sense. It's so weird to go to the beach alone. But I'll figure it out. Yeah, I think I'll do this one at the beach, definitely. Definitely. I want a dirty martini. Make a dirty, dirty. I want a dirty margarita. Make it dirty, dirty. So, yeah. Love that. I'm so excited about So, <laughs> So yeah, I'm, I'm like so happy about that because I've been also wanting to work with alcohol brands um, for a while, you know, but I think that, I don't know, I guess I thought I wasn't putting myself out there enough or in the way that you were supposed to, I don't know, I don't know, but yeah, I'm super happy about this and I wanted to do like, an exceptional job because I want to get more, you know, jobs like this so that I can, you know, be in my influencer bag. I did say that like I want to be like full time influencing and then have my business and then you know have my hands in a couple of pots. Is that what they say? Have your hands in. I don't know. I will not realize that this is shaped like a bottle of patron. Do you get it? Like bottle of patron. So smart. But yeah, I want to have multiple streams of income. Do you know what I mean? So that is the goal for the year, okay? So yeah, I was super chuffed about this. I feel like it was like, yeah, you're going somewhere, you're doing something, you know? Patron is a big company, no big beans. Ugh. Patron is a big company. It's not, it's not a joke. <laughs> it's not a joke. So I'm super happy about that. So I want to redo this, as I said. But obviously, then I'll only post that reel after some time i just think that when i saw the reel that i originally shot i was like you can do better than this i know that i can do better so i want to do better and make sure that i i feel like i took out the best possible content that i am capable of and feel confident about that so yeah um i'm just home today we went to blue room oh it was so beautiful they played jazz the food was also good i had like a lionfish and veggies ah oh, so good and the cocktails were great the first one that i had i was like mm. it was too sweet it wasn't too great also clear pants guys and cut yeah so um went to blue room and i wonder where i left my other phone and it was so beautiful it was so nice so romantical and then yeah i came home i was just on the phone with nandi i was so tipsy i was in such a good mood that i was like video calling everyone like ugh, i don't know why i was not vlogging yesterday Shim. i fucked up but tomorrow i have a woolies shoot I originally was supposed to do a Woolworths shoot um, when we went to Nisna and yeah I couldn't because the Nisna trip was already planned so yeah I just didn't confirm it to you guys because I didn't want to like say I'm gonna do something and then it doesn't happen yeah but also, I knew about the Nisna trip like a week before but when you say something um, prematurely and then it just doesn't happen so I was just like oh, let me keep quiet about it until the day of that's when I, I told you guys like the day before I didn't want to be disappointed and I didn't want to disappoint you guys so I had a whole shoot then and I was really bummed that I couldn't make it because you know I'm really trying to forge these relationships and like keep these work relationships with these um, companies these are very like repeatable companies big companies you know so you really want to make sure that you're reliable and that you're not always like not available when they call you so i was bummed about it but luckily tomorrow i can make it um i can make it to tomorrow's shoot and i can make it up for the fact that i didn't make it that day and i want to go over and above and excel in my job and make sure that i secure that for my company 
so that's what's happening tomorrow saturday is my friend's daughter's birthday i love kids i hope somebody has a newborn but if they don't i mean i'm, I'm just going to support her do her daughter for her daughter's birthday hey but it's today month end hey today is month end <laughs> okay i have to take care of my stuff oh crazy so i'm gonna go to her daughter's birthday tomorrow i have work in the morning i have a booking sorry on saturday i have a booking in the morning and then after the booking i'm gonna go and see them and hang out with them a bit and yeah that's about it that's all i have planned for the day then i'm gonna come home and then sunday um what's gonna happen sunday i don't know i guess we'll see but what do you guys feel about the vlogs being uploaded on monday is that cool uh because you know why when i upload them on saturday i can't shoot sunday whatever happens on sunday then has to fall into the following week's vlog and i feel like sunday is a good day for me to edit like i like editing on a sunday because very really, usually on a sunday i'm not doing anything and then uploading on a monday game what do you guys feel about the vlogs going up on a monday is that like cool can i continue with that because i really think it like works for me um to upload on monday nights monday afternoon um yeah let me just watch tv and answer some work stuff i need to upload work content yo i'm slacking with work content a lot hey you guys let's go to work quickly so i know i wasn't supposed to be working today but a long time client of mine just asked for last minute booking this is not favoritism to anybody who might want to ask for last minute booking <laughs> this person has been my client for like a while and so i have to come through for her so let's go to the booking real quick and then we'll come back home <laughs> And I feel so bad, but like I'm half awake, half asleep. Just go a bit like this. It didn't spread. Oh yes. It's giving um Elsa. <laughs> My chimbo. Yeah, nice. <laughs> wow. Done. And I'm also scared of getting mad. <laughs> People just like to stay. It's the weirdest thing. Because why? <sighs> Time is work. I don't want to go to the before I head home. I'm crush, guys. I know my But, hey, what's that thing? I'm crush. I'm going crush. I'm so scared of my car scratching, you know. Was all for me, Lefe Snow. Good girl. Good girl. <sighs> it's hot, man. So, my clients, when a family friend, I got to know him every weekend. And I guess I wasn't feeling well on Saturday, so I missed that booking. Hey. Man, I'm born with this. She doesn't get involved, but she wants to ask about Why didn't you come? Whatever, whatever, whatever. whatever. <laughs>
she wasn't like me or whatever but she was just like oh yeah but maybe put a disclaimer on your page or see maybe it won't personally be you or whatever so yeah i got her chats you know so yeah fair enough i should do that i will do it in future i don't even want to go home Hello. Girl. Hey, what's up? What's up? Not just there. Mm. I got a big food. Going back home, bitch. I got a job, bitch. I got a J-O motherfucking B. J-O motherfucking B. Now for us to be at a shoot at 6.30 a.m. Because we go to Yo, just might as well go straight to bed. <laughs> no, might as well go straight to work. <laughs> I said good night at the stage. I say, I'm so bad to work to my mother. Yeah. How's up with you? Nothing. Doing some work, sending out invoices. A working girl, period. Yeah, period. And there's this annoying guy that keeps trying to get free services from me. So I've just emailed him along with an invoice. Someone just sent send like his logins to his Google accounts and logins to his social to it. I think I remember Umjela about that person as well. Yeah. But then I had some work that I had to do for him by now I sent that to him. And I did like a welcome email for Andy Mache. They paid like I can't believe it. Like tomorrow, officially Pixel Prime would have been operating for a month. You literally realistically are working fucking twelve hours a day for five days a week for what fifteen yeah. grand. That's three three six nine twelve. That's four people. If you co Dude. if you secured four contracts a month. So to to sign that contract so that at least i know because i have that little amount and then i'm like comfortable with adding an additional thing because at this point it's like car rent plus that's the, the phone contract yeah. it's like i need an additional income in order to like comment Are so i actually still, still talking yeah they had asked me for my documents like last week so i forwarded everything I'm actually gonna. I forgot to send them a follow up email. I'm gonna follow up today because Pilla, tomorrow is the start of a new month, you know. Meaning I'm a sister, yeah. We finalized everything by now because she was like, it was supposed to be for 12 months, then January, February came, then she's like, okay, for nine months. I don't know what's the hold up. Okay, cool. So you want social media management for Snare Online because your own personal stuff is a lot. Yeah. And you you wouldn't be able to do my personal stuff because I have my own personal way of doing yes. it. Yeah, them to write reviews. It's gonna push you up on your Google rankings. Oh. But anyways, okay. Okay, cool. So, so when it discount? Yeah. Yeah, Marlene. Jebo na na we. Well, and now it's Ubuntu and Gazala and I in the same room. We all want to suck full and I is Porsche so baby. No, I'm going to go to the house. Um, how much do you charge again? Good morning, guys. I am at Woods. I'm a bit tired, yeah. I'm not sure why, but I'm feeling exhausted. Uh, so. I'm just taking my stuff upstairs to start shooting. I'm just doing hair today, so I'm gonna do both makeup and hair. Just hair and. Oh. The roof is so short that the car hits in the bazaar. So I'm just taking whatever I think I need.
This is the creator, what is it called? Um, they specifically for content creators. Oh. So it's a content creator kit. It comes with the mic, with the thing, everything for 14. How much is the actual thing? Before I start, the whole just, thing is 14,000. It's on yes. sale. Can I just oh. ask you? Oh, you just got this meeting here. Normally, do we have this here? So do you need the lace? The lace. the mall because I left the memory card that has space but anyways I bought the gift I'm on the way there -ish. now I'm late but the mall was crazy full because of payday so it's not an excuse but it ain't much I can do um, I bought one of the things on her wish list um, of things that she wanted my gay star pyramid it is selling you the semi fort for sundowns. Falls across. Comes but in. She's happy. Sends the keeper the wrong way. Mama and his sundowns take the lead. Really, dude. Really, really, really. I'm a bit annoyed, dude. I'm sad. I don't know why I'm in an irritable mood. Maybe because I'm going through like my own thoughts and stuff. So. But yeah, now I'm on the way to Parklands for Brian's birthday. I'm an hour late, but really, there isn't much I could have done to be quicker. It's so weird how, like, babies, like, I'm so good with babies' ages, like, newborn. <laughs> like, you could give me a newborn baby. Ooh, shit. I could tell if the baby's, like, six months, four months, three months, whatever. But as soon as it's, like, over two years old, I'm like, how the hell do you know how old, like... When I'm like buying the gift, I'm like, how big is a four-year-old? Like, how tall or whatever is a four-year-old? Because I have no fucking idea. That's a stop street, you son of a bitch. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> Road rage gets that. I have no idea how big a four-year-old is. But, oh, I'm having my child's um, six-month-old birthday party. I would know exactly what to get. I also just love smaller babies not that I don't love big babies it's just I'm more used to smaller babies birthdays oh my god what am I saying before I get myself into trouble let me just shut up but yeah um, I'm on the way there man I'll see you in the spur Oh, 
<laughs> I am back home. My oh my goodness, everything is gone. Yo oh, guys, this wind. Oh man. All my outdoor furniture is gone. All of it. The table is fine. Hey, um, I don't know what needs to happen here. I'm cutting it now, man. It was stuck. I'm cutting it, Hey, There because my news is over, anyways. I'm back home, it was pretty quick. Okay, I mainly just wanted to drop off the gift. And then just to like be there for moral support. I was more socially awkward than usual, to be honest, but yeah. I'm also just very tired. You know, yesterday, I'm gonna put this down like this. Yesterday, I worked for 12 hours. Um, then I had a 7 a.m. booking this morning. I just wanna remove this glue of my new bracelet. Then I had that 7 a.m. booking. So, I'm just tired. I don't have the energy. I have a lot on my mind. Um, yeah, I think I just want to sleep. I'm tired. And what is the day? And yeah, as an overthinker, the amount of social activity that I've put myself through in the past two weeks have left me dying of anxiousness. <laughs> like literally drowning in anxiousness so i hope my boobies don't show i just want to get into bed put on my airpods just listen to music and get cool they far far away tomorrow i want to go to church i don't know let me zoom mm, i can see my lens is dirty hey? i don't know how that will work out because i have plans tomorrow but I'd really like to go to church. You know, recently, I decided to work on my relationship with God. Like, a lot of people don't know this, but I stopped being a Christian um, last year. And most of the time, I realized that, like, I'd have to stop myself from saying, like, things like, oh, thank God, or by God's grace, or whatever it is, you know, because um, for a period of st time, I stopped believing there was Jesus. I've always believed there was a God. But in Christianity, let me say, I, I was struggling with Christianity and believing because, you know, life puts you through some questionable things. And if you're a human being, you start to doubt because we are, we are going in blind faith. And that is basically what Christianity is, is believing in something that you have no um sure of you do things because your parents told you but as you get older you know you need reasons and for me it was like i just felt like where is he if he's there if he's really there you know where is he what is he doing what is he saying when he's seeing all these things happening to me and why does he not want to help you know and i guess i still have i guess i still have those feelings and those thoughts but i miss christianity 
I don't know if that's an okay thing to say that you're going back to Christianity because you miss it. I miss the relationship that I had with Jesus. So yeah, because I went through a very isolated period, um, I used to use that time to communicate with him a lot. Uh, obviously, life has ups and downs, but when life is consistently down, you're only human being. You, you're only human, sorry. <laughs> you're only human being. You're only human and you are bound to become a bit pessimistic about life and i think that's the point that i reached i was just like you know what if there was a god he would never watch me suffer like this and he would never consistently bring bad situations into my life situations that caused me to have to pray hard and fast i was like an avid faster like the people that knew me from like before every year without fail imagine i'm getting into bed it's literally like 6 p.m every year without fail like i will do my 21 day um fast and you know nj that's just how nj deep i was in my faith and i know like people will be like oh you should never leave your faith da, da, da. but it's like it becomes very hard guys like especially if you don't have any spiritual guidance but also just if if like let's say if something hits you and then you say okay it's okay it's okay it's fine and then as you like stumbling trying to stand back up and something hits you again and then you're like okay it's fine it's happened before let me stand up and then something hits you again and then you're like damn i'm tired but let me try again and then it hits you again and then you're like yo like you know this person that you have a relationship with and that you think that you have a relationship with um you're like you're sort of like asking like how one to see the moon thing when like you know suffering like this you know so i had those feelings and i sort of had a lot of resentment towards um christianity and jesus and i just i gave it a break and i and i remember telling like my family and everyone and my friends that like hey, you know being a person who used to convince people into christianity and convince them to believe in god and to pray to god about their hard times i i felt sort of embarrassed that i i had to say that but i thought i don't want to deceive them and make it seem like i'm still you know this avid christian when i no longer feel as passionate about it and so yeah um yeah i went through a lot i went through a lot and i decided that I think that life is just what you make it and everything is up to you How, what um I think the word is trajectory your life goes is completely up to you and there's nobody there to help you um you're on your own you know and, I, and that's how I've been living my life basically for like a year and some change but as much as I still somewhat believe in these principles I do feel very lonely Um there are some conversations that you can have with your friends and your family and everything but there are certain levels of vulnerability that you feel like only God can see and only God can understand um certain things that you think the way that you think um you know human beings can only understand on a human level but you know like your very deep thoughts and your very honest um thoughts about things um that sometimes you don't feel very comfortable with sharing with people I miss having that relationship with someone that I could like bear everything with and honestly just you know flat out just be very brutally honest about what I feel what I'm going through and so because I miss this relationship I decided to try and venture back into Christianity and I was asking God to just show me like show me that he's there in any way shape or form in any type of way that will like help me and lead me back into his way and lead me back into his arms and for me to feel like loved and protected by him again you know um I asked for forgiveness I repented for the things that I felt like I had done wrong especially you know um being a non-believer is a very huge sin um so I was praying for that as well and I still am praying for a sign I still am praying for him to show me something to show me um not not per se not not even in a in a blessing way 
per se i don't want a blessing i just want a sign you know like before i used to get like these little signs and maybe because now i'm so out of reach and out of touch with him that i no longer see the little messages he sends me but before i used to you know see little things and i'd be like i'd understand that that was him and he was talking to me in certain ways and he was giving me advice on certain things you know i'd go to bed and say you know can can you help me decide on something and by the morning i'd be very decided on something or you know there would just be a sign that helps me like decide what you know decision to make on on certain situations and now i guess because i've told myself that i'm on my own i do feel completely on my own in terms of that and so i've just been trying you know um it took me a lot to even go back to church last week but i was like i want to make an active effort and hopefully he sees my efforts and he meets me halfway and he meets me somewhere um so i went to church last week and um the message was sort of about what i'm going through in the minute um in terms of my decision making i've deviated from the way that i decision make currently and i don't know if it's good or bad i'm usually a very cautious person um all my decisions are overthought about overly calculated overly you know decided upon like i can't say I hardly make a mistake in terms of decisions and I've been trying to be more um less rigid with my decision making and so obviously I've allowed um certain things that I wouldn't um usually allow um as much as they make me happy I don't know if they are right and so with that obviously your friends and your family will always want you to go with what makes you feel good and i love that about them but i don't want to do something that will impact me greatly in the future and so as much as i'm enjoying my new way of thinking and i like that i you know i'm just a bit more free i'm just more, I'm more happier but i don't know what that means for me in the long run and so i need him i need him to guide me and to tell me like am i going in the right direction is this okay um you know so yeah so the message um last week at church was who are you becoming and i found that so interesting because of the fact that one of the main reasons why i wanted to get back into christianity was because i don't know if i'm in the right decision making path so that was very interesting you know and it was a lot of things that they asked um to just read upon and ask yourself questions about whether the way that you're living is 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 in a godly way or more worldly way and I'm definitely living in a more worldly you know way um but I've lived in a godly way for a long time so Yeah, I'm just in between both worlds at this point. I I thought that I would go there and feel nothing and it would just be like, oh, you just went to church, it is what it is. I felt something, but I didn't I guess I didn't get the confirmation or the communication that I had wanted. And obviously you'll never get exactly what you want when you want it. And so I've just been looking out, you know, looking out for a message from him, looking out for guidance from him or anything that he can say to me that will help me know that he's there um in my decision making obviously I'm his child and even if I deviate from him he created me and he knows why he has put me in this path of um I guess um what would you call it yeah I don't know what you call it but Oh, I feel very heavy after that, but yeah. So I'm hoping I can go to church tomorrow. I just have a lot on my plate and trying to rest as well and trying to keep up the few friends that I do have. I should have spent today sleeping, but I was like, oh, I know I have to go. So I'm going to try and catch up on sleep now and um try to go to church tomorrow. I'm also trying to be in my dating era so i'm trying to go uh, date tomorrow I like 
<laughs> it's not even a problem. Like, God, it is not a problem. But I'm just like, when do you get time to think? Like, just to sit down and think about your life, you know? If you're constantly busy. But I'm happy for the work busy. I'm happy for the social busy because I haven't been socially busy in a long time. I'm happy that I have things that are occupying my time. But sometimes I do think I'm so scared to be so busy with things that I'm too far gone. That I can't bring myself back and and recenter myself and, and tell myself like you're going in the wrong direction. So yeah, let me take a nap. Good morning, you guys, and welcome back. I know it's been a minute, but I literally almost died. Like, I got back from work on Monday, so I went out over the weekend. Um, so when I got to work on Monday, we were all hungover, me and some colleagues of mine. So we were like, oh, let's get something to eat or whatever. It's half past six right now, I'm on my way to work. And then we got something called a Gatsby from, I don't know, I think Cindy knows the place. Cindy's a um, uh, girl that I work with. So Cindy, I see, uh, yeah, I, I need to do my baby hairs, hold on. Cindy, I see, a Gatsby is a Caesar. So that's what we get. A Gatsby, I've never had it before. So it was my first time trying it, eh? Just gonna do a little bit of baby hair. I'm not in the mood to put on a wig today. Later on, after that, I've always said some spoon, but it just feels painful. But I'm like, hey, maybe I just ate too much of the Gatsby. I get home, I can't even eat. I finished the Gatsby that I had, and then I sort of chill a bit until I'm like, hey, yeah, my stomach is <gasps> my stomach is sore. Let me go to bed. Oh, this battery is flat. Anyways. I go to bed and around 1 a.m. I start wake up, waking up, vomiting, um, diarrhea. My stomach is cramping like I've never experienced anything like that before. So I was honestly um, convinced that it was the Gatsby because I've never had it before. Um, when I got to work, I forced myself to go to work yesterday just because I had some things that they needed for work. And when I got there, I could tell what I can't cope. So I called my assistant to come and take over the day. But they were like, they don't think it's a guest be because it would have gotten me sick quicker, quicker than three hours. Whatever it was, it like almost took me out because, yo, I was not okay. But today's a new day. Just took a shower. I feel so much better. Just want to go to work and hopefully have a productive day. And yeah, let's start again. Afternoon, you guys. I am back home from work, and ciao. To be honest, I don't even know what vlog is this that I'm doing. I don't know if it's a weekly vlog. I don't know if it's what. Like I've lost all control of my vlogging, so I'm hoping to get it um, back on track next week. Lol. Ah, lol. Oh my gosh. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> I look like a boy, but 
Oh, I'm a bit tired. So, working at Cabo today. I should already be on my way, to be honest. But, I'm super tired. I'm getting to the point where my body's like, I wanted to ask somebody to come and help me today. Um, Zinkle, she's currently working on assisting me. But I think she's also like, girl, I'm tired. I ain't coming over there. So, I'm doing it alone. I'm trying to see if I can snack on something before I go. I'm feeling a bit hungry. On a good note, I reached 75 kgs yesterday. Ooh, boo, 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 boo. I went on a day yesterday. Um, I reached 75 kgs. So I'm so happy about that. Yo, guys, losing weight has been very hard. Even with really slim. Right? It's been really hard, so I was super proud of that. I can't wait until I'm um, 72. That's when I'll. That's when I'll feel like I'm safely, safely, safely in the 70s, like where I will be able to gain weight to the point where I go back to 80. That's usually how I time it, and that's how I did it when I got into my 80s as well. Like when I was still 85, 80s. Ooh, shit. When I was still 85, 86. I could still go on a binge and get back to 90. I didn't like that. I'd always be like, oh, we're making progress. And then suddenly felt like, oh, maybe not that much progress, you know? So I like to be in a safe place, which I feel like I will be in 3 kgs. I need to start now, yeah, now that I've been reaching my goal weights. Um, weaning myself off of really slim i don't take it every day not on purpose it's because i forget so it won't be that hard but i'm concerned about you know sometimes you can feel yourself about to go on a binge and if i don't have any medication at all how will i stop myself from doing that you know naturally at this point i'm not even an eater anymore it's even weird for me to eat at this time i don't even eat that much anymore but Something triggers this either going out to the club or going out too much to where you're drinking or whatever. It opens up your appetite a lot. And then before you know it, like you're eating something today because you're hungover. And you're eating something tomorrow because you're hungover, you know? And then before you know it, you're back into that routine. I can't afford that. I'm seeing Benson on the 11th of April. He needs to see me in my prime, okay? <laughs> Guys, in fact, I need to get ready for his performance, like mentally prepared. I need to be able to know how to levitate. Album, the guy that I'm sort of dealing with right now, we didn't, you know, we, what? So weird. And you're not yet dating, but you're um, dealing with each other. You're on the way there or something. Um, um, Benson had come this one time and he was in South Africa. So then I was like, how am I? I see Benson is here. Whichever club he's going to, please can we go? And then he sends me that video on TikTok where the girl was like going to Omalea on stage. Oh, um, um, fine, we can go, but please. And what's funny is that he was serious. Like he was trying to put it in a very sweet way. Like it's something that could actually happen. Like, please um, try to not to scream, respect yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine a whole man painting like me, screaming. No, man, I just really, really have a crush on him. I wouldn't do anything about it. I just want to stare at him and go home and then dream about him. <laughs> but also the fact that I smelled him, you know? I dream about the fact that we were inhaling the same air. Today, I'm working with another creative agency. I don't have a call sheet on what's going on per se, but... I know that whatever it is, it's happening at Cabo. So, I'm on my way there, man, Jay. And, yeah, let's see when we get there. What's, what's cooking oil? I'm happy about the fact that tomorrow I don't have to wake up early for once in two weeks, which is wild. So, I'll get to sleep in a little bit. And... Yeah, let's go.
Guys, I'm back home. I know I look homeless. It's not the point. But I'm going for my first strength training session now. I was lucky to get... The guy said he has an availability now and go to. So I'm going there. Luckily, it's super close to where I stay. Um, because I'm trying to... <laughs> my hair. I'm trying to wean myself off for of really slim. So I really want to start strength training and turning my body up because... I'm 75 kgs now, so I believe that uh, incorporating training will help me push to get to that 72, 70 mark. And yeah, I just want to work on my body. I want for like the winter to come and my body's together. And I'm really just ready for the summer, Europe summer. Ambitions, <laughs> ambitions, ambitions vicious entertainment but yeah i'm not gonna vlog because it's my first time and i don't want him to feel awkward i also need to actually get to know him first um this is our trial run so i don't think i'll vlog but yeah i hope everything goes well and i'm hoping i can do this once a week and then do pilates as well once a week i booked a combo class combo whatever what is it called cluster class i guess i don't know but where you like book a whole bunch of lessons in one so if i do one training lesson a week and one pilates class a week i think that for this month i think that that's a good start especially for somebody who hates working out i hate working out i hate anything that makes my heart rate pump so yeah let's go train yeah hey you guys happy sunday so I'm back home i had a lot of errands to run like a whole lot but yeah i had to pick up wigs let's see they're pretty well washed let's pick up some wigs and i had to go to can i walk i thought can i walk would be more fuller than it um it was so that was good it was quite empty and I just had to run some errands off, so it was washed really well. I have a lady that washes wigs for me, for my clients as well. So I have asked her to wash some wigs, my wigs, and um, the wigs from Wards as well. I put this wig in by mistake. I shouldn't have, but anyway. I guess it's a good thing that I got washed. Um, so... Yeah, it's quite a lot of wigs, shame. I'm always taking like four or five wigs to get washed every time. This was done really well as well. It's nice and like looking. And then my baby girl, my favorite girl in the world. Love her die. She was really washed as well. Cutums, cutums, cutums. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. The wigs were washed really, really well. Um, so I have work really early in the morning tomorrow and then straight after work I am going to Joburg. I don't know why I am. I am emotionally downcast today. Maybe because it's a Sunday and I'm single. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so that was super cool. You know what I don't like about recently about, um, my camera? It's just giving me this very cool, like, um... The, the tone is cool. Hold on. Yeah, it's just very cool, like bluish type of tone. And I mean, it's cool, but I would like it to be just a little bit more warmer. Um, or oh, is it facing up so much? So, yeah. I'm going to show you guys what I got from Tix and just came. Cotton pads. I got. I got an air humidifier because of like throat issues and like dryness in the air. I also went to Mimikyu, I just put it in here. I bought two more of these mirrors. Or lashes and wipes. So that's what I got from, um, this what I got from Clicks. From Discam, and other people ask me like for my skincare routine, if you watch my real, my skin is my reels my vlogs you would have seen my skincare routine on one of my videos but 
honestly, I'm always changing stuff because I'm always feeling like, remember when I started Usurin, I bought like the whole range and I was like, oh, I want to try use their stuff. And I did use it for like, I don't remember how long. I felt like it was pretty good. It was good enough, but I didn't feel like it was like, I, I think it got to the most that it could do for me. And I didn't feel like that was like, I want to sit down inside. I didn't feel like that was like amazing. You know, I felt like, okay, it's okay. Like my skin is looking good. There's no problems, but I didn't feel like my skin has been like, you know, wow. So I was using um, one of these turmeric soaps that I got from Zanzibar. I remember when I traveled to Zanzibar that time. So I was using one of those. Sorry, yeah, I was using one of those. And I know I noticed a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, your skin looks so nice, da da da. But I had only bought one bar when I was in Zanzibar that time. And I only started using it now because I really didn't know what to buy next, like what to use next on my skin so that bar was really good it was really good but it was a very small bar and so i stopped using that um and then today i went to go buy some new stuff to try and see if the the cerave it just doesn't foam and for somebody who has like oily skin i don't know if it helps but my skin has been really good and i really like it but now that I, because I used to wash my face with the turmeric soap and then wash my face with the um, CeraVe because I felt like the CeraVe is more like a smooth, creamy layer on top and I felt like the turmeric was more like stripping, very like foamy and like very, you know, so in, in order for it not to be so harsh, I was using um, CeraVe face wash on top, but sorry about the wind, it's it's moving the umbrella outside. I actually regret buying this outdoor furniture guys, like yeah anyways yeah so yeah um so i'm gonna show you guys what i got now but then let me just show you some makeup stuff first rimmel rimmel um is having a two for one so really i buy i really like their setting spray the setting spray my clients are always um asking me what setting spray that is so really i usually buy the setting spray and i usually buy this um mattifying primer as well from them let me just yeah these two so when i saw what to you buy to get one i just got this concealer that i want to try on myself oh, let me hide my face yeah here you go and this is a the multi tasker concealer full coverage um honey is the the name so yeah these two are just going into my work stuff and then this is going into my personal makeup stuff and then skincare so i got this face wash so this is a purifying firming gel and it was in the acne prone area so that the the la roche, pe, the la roche posay um thingy at this came it's like so helpful because it writes like for cleansing for uneven skin tone for acne prone skin for eczema for sensitive skin you know so you know exactly what because like especially because everything is written in french like it's very hard okay here's this one has a, a part that's in english at the back but some of them honestly didn't have but i had gotten a, a smaller like sample of this before to try out and I felt like it really worked well on my skin. But then when I went back to Clicks to go and buy it, it was sold out. The the bigger bottle, the, I mean the smaller bottle, sorry, the smaller bottles. So I decided to get this bigger bottle just in case it sells out again. So um, this is a purifying foaming gel, but it's a skin pH. And it was in the acne prone skin area. My skin it doesn't have acne, but it's oily and then when it's oily it gets um pimples like especially in this area yeah and it'll it'll be so random like it's either my skin is really good or my skin is really bad there's no like in between and i get like fine rashes and stuff like that so my skin is very like sensitive so this like worked for me when i bought that little one so this is the shower i mean the face wash that i'm gonna use and then i got 
this um, anti blackheads, blemishes, po uh, pro post acne marks. Because I do like when I have pimple, like when I have pimples, I'll have like black spots. I don't know if I have right now because I've been really diligent with my skin. Yeah, you can see like there are those like stubborn um, black marks that don't like leave my face. So I really want to have like super like glossy, beautiful skin. So I got this, and then I got a hydrating um, anti imperfections, uh, basically like a, a moisturizer to use on top of this. I think. Um, I can't just use one of them. I have to like, you know, oh, wait, let me hold it in the middle. So, yeah, I got these two. And then, this might have been a bit dramatic, but this body wash. So, it's a it's a face and body wash and it's like a, it has, it said micro peeling purifying gel for persistent imperfections. So, I wanted to see um, how it's going to contribute towards my skin uh, because I want to have like beautiful buttery skin all over like my face my body my butt like i have stretch marks on my bum and I, I, I know it probably won't remove stretch marks but whatever will help towards like smoothening out the skin you know and making everything look j like baby skin i want to do that so i got this as well um for my body i think i'll try use it once every two days so that it doesn't um finish super quickly so yeah guys and that's about it. I had to go to the police station to certify work documents. Now I need to clean up my kit, um, get ready for work tomorrow, but also have to pack for Joburg and, and pack um, makeup and everything properly so that I can fit everything into one suitcase um, to travel with. And then, yeah, so I have a pretty long afternoon. It's three o'clock now. I'm gonna try and get everything done at least by like six so that I can just rest for the rest of the day and edit this vlog. <laughs> edit this vlog for you guys. I know that it was super late. Um the the video that I just uploaded a day ago. I know that it was late, but yo uh, yeah, work has been hectic. I'm sure you guys are gonna see from this vlog and I keep complaining, I keep complaining. I'm so grateful, but I'm so happy that this weekend, like, I just rested, you know. I, I got to rest yesterday, I slept on the couch all day and today as well, but I still woke up tired. That's the crazy thing, but I'm happy that I rested today as well. That noise is so annoying, but yeah. So, anyways, this is the end of the vlog. <laughs> So this is the end of the vlog and thank you guys for watching um the next video i think we're gonna do is probably gonna be my joburg vlog um but yeah so i hope you guys enjoy the vlog i love you guys so much thank you for your support thank you for your engagement thank you for your likes your comments i always crack up at the comments um thank you for your support and your views and everything i support i i, I really appreciate it so see you guys in the next vlog